What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are actually going to be doing a move and I wasn't initially going to film any of this move, but I felt like we've been talking about this move. I don't even know. Why do I have my AirPod in right now? I was on the phone like all day. Anyway, we're, we're rocking with it. We're, we're classy here. We have AirPods. No, I'm only kidding guys. They're really convenient though. I'm not going to lie. Like if you guys are considering getting AirPods, you make phone calls a lot. They're awesome. Not a paid promotion. That'd be cool if it was though. So anyway, guys, uh, I was basically just making a mess in my garage. As you can see, there's basically just stuff everywhere, including including all these truck parts that are piling up. Uh, but I got a friend coming over here momentarily who's actually going to start helping me get some of these things together as we move over to the new shop. And we've been talking about said new shop now for a few weeks on the vlog. And well, my initial intent was not to vlog, but I felt like you guys would be so freaking upset if I didn't include you in this move because it's a pretty exciting time. It's kind of like you get to a level from an automotive YouTuber's perspective where you kind of outgrow your space that you're making do with so you find a shop location. And well, that's exactly what's happening today. It's a very important event. So the idea here is to gather some tools and keep them in this toolbox. And then this one is going to be going over to the shop. All of this stuff right here is gonna be migrating out. The dualies, wheels, and tires are going to be going as well. I don't know about the forces. I had somebody that was going to buy these things and then they backed out on me with two hours left, which, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and state an opinion for too long, but that is just really frustrating. When somebody claims that they are going to follow through with a purchase and then they end up bailing on you last minute, I mean, that's valuable time where I could have connected with somebody else to move them on. I guess it is what it is. It's all part of the process. So those are probably just gonna stay here and maybe we'll move some of the wash stuff. I don't, I don't really know yet, but I wanna get some of the real big stuff out of the way, which is that stuff right there in order to provide the fundamentals over at the shop. Oh, and before we start that, later in the video, I think we are going to be throwing the dualies wheels and tires on. It's been long overdue. They've been sitting here long enough. First things first, we gotta turn the Minimax around. Before I turned it off, I just had to let you guys listen to this new exhaust note. You know, in the last few hours, roughly about a week's time, I think that's only grown on me. It hasn't gotten old yet. I don't think it really ever will. I got a record for you guys too. It's got to. Ever, ever, ever disappoints. So the biggest challenge of moving this toolbox is going to be keeping everything in its coordinated order. Hopefully this works. Got some lights for the shop too, because the current lighting situation there is mediocre at best. Baby steps. This is my buddy Pete. Pete, say hi to the vlog. What's up? All right. What's going on? We used to call him Peter Power, so Peter Power is gonna help us move this assembly right here. We left everything full, which I don't really know how that's gonna work out necessarily, but you never know unless you try. And the Minimax is the lowest truck that I have, so I I don't know, let's see how it goes. All right, that's the big stuff. That That's, that's the one thing that I knew that I couldn't do without Peter Power. Thank you, buddy, appreciate it. No problem, buddy. Nice teamwork. All right, so that's all we're gonna bring over to the shop tonight uh, because I'm honestly, unfortunately running you know, a little bit of a time crunch here, so I should probably shut that down first. Good to go. All right, guys, we're experiencing this first together. Watch it not work, that'd be awkward. Oh, thank goodness it worked. Welcome to my Christmas store. No, I'm just kidding. But this is a very, very, very dark shot. I don't know what's going on, hold on. Welcome guys to the new shop space, which I'm not gonna kind of show too much of right now because this was previously occupied by another tenant. Can't show you, can't show you, can't show you. That has not completely moved out yet, but they moved enough of their stuff out to where, well, I can start to move some of my stuff in and some of that stuff meaning basically just my toolbox because, well, I have a second set of hands that are huh, unfortunately way stronger than me today. Pete, thanks again, dude, I appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, basically, let's get ye old Minimax into the garage here so we can start the unloading process. Oh, uh, we're popping cherries. Oh, wow, that's awkward. That's really awkward. What do I do? I guess I just... Uh... Just to see if they were wired incorrectly. Guess they're not. Is this doing anything? No. Oh, 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 we got one working. We're down on power, mate. Ho oh, all right. What's back here? Oh yeah, guys, by the way. Is this thing turned on? No, no, no. Oh, but I did find a breaker box. Trust me, guys. We will prevail. Hello, guys. We have a box. On, on, on. Oh, this must be it. Oh. Oh. We do have a bathroom in the shop too, which is kind of sweet. You know, you gotta have a throne in an area where you're spending lots of time. 
<laughs> you gotta be kidding. It's not working. No, there was one breaker that was tripped. You think the, the toolbox would fit through that door? You think so? I think so. I like your optimism. There is a breaker back here. On, 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 on. Um, lights, fan, outlets, main breaker. I don't want to turn the whole thing off. Who knows what this controls? Breaker up there. Hopefully it's not the one that we need. Nice toilet though, huh? We're gonna get comfortable here. I think here. it will just barely fit through the door. You think so? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Up, oh, up. Oh. Yikes. What are you gonna do? Well, that's what we were looking for. What do we got width-wise here, buddy? Right four and a half. No, we're good. We're good? It's 34. Oh, yes! Yeah. All right, bear with me, guys. Here goes nothing. How do we do this? Do we do sideways again? All right, hold on, I gotta grab. Oh, them squats, Woo! baby. And last but not least, LEDs. They're efficient, too. Woo! So yeah, guys, this is going to be one of the many new Oh wow, look, that could be like a Christmas advertisement. What I was saying was this is going to be one of the new environments for the Dirty Max Jack YouTube channel. Uh, seriously dude, super stoked about this. Just love the fact that we're gonna have a lot more room to at least store some trucks. As you can see, we've got some depth here, we've got some width, so we'll be able to fit, I'd say like for comparison terms, at least the Mini Max and then the Daddy Max dually here, vice versa, one truck, two trucks, however much I need as a means of A, providing a sealed sign and delivered location where we can do some work and B, just trying to unload a little bit for my house personally because right now I'm on like overflow and I park two trucks in the street at any given point in time and luckily my neighbors are pretty cool. It's not like they really bother with that but I don't really like leaving my vehicles out in the street in my personal opinion. So, hello Peter, how was the bathroom? Oh, the bathroom was really good. The bathroom was pretty good? He's got a bathroom in his own shop now? I know, I'm pretty excited about it's that. a big reef? And, you know, I, I, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, guys, this is gonna be a pretty cool spot i'm really excited um we're actually going to later in this video or per the title and thumbnail of this video i don't really know what i'm naming this video yet because we're kind of just flying at the seat of our shorts with this one here but um we're going to be doing some new wheels and tires later in the video and that's actually going to be in a different day i'm sorry but i just like i said i really wasn't planning on filming this per se but it's kind of like we popped the cherry the new shop and i couldn't really experience that without all of you guys i feel like that would be selfish so i'll see you guys in another day but later in this video so i just figured that i'd use my brain that light switch is connected to that light which runs to that receptacle which goes to that motor which goes to this door and i pushed that button and it worked it stops oh thank goodness geez i was just gonna get worried there let's uh let's make sure we can get this thing closed let's go ahead and lock it too for safe measure all right now i'll see you guys in the later part of this video cool We're back, same vlog, different day. I'm sorry that I had to change up on you there. I was running out of time in the earlier segment that you were watching in, but we were going to continue on track. So we have the new shop, super stoked about it. And today we were going to take on our first project, kind of as per the title and thumbnail of this video. Daddy Max is gonna be getting some new wheels. You can see the previous giveaway truck looking good and sexy there. That thing's gonna be going off to get a professional detail here in a few days. And speaking of that winter announcement is going to be somewhere around mid-March. We also have a really, really big announcement that's gonna be coming up right around that same time as well. Not to hit on too much to it, but um, we're gonna be doing another giveaway. That's all I'm gonna say for right now. So as you guys might have seen in some of my previous uploads, we've had these things kind of sitting here in the back. I'm not gonna show you guys the wheels quite yet because there's a lot of explanation as to the setup and how it all came together. You might see that this wheel and tire is wider than that wheel and tire. We'll get into all that here in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and move the Mini Max over. We're gonna get the Daddy Max here in the driveway. Load everything up, including these wheels and tires, some other things that we might need, and then we're gonna get back over to the shop. Let's see how well this big turbo, big injector, LLY Duramax, starts here on a cold day. <laughs> Right. 
And guys, to give you a quick update, the 20 by 14 forces are pending sale. There's actually a guy that's on his way right now to PA from Tennessee. We'll see if everything goes as planned. I'm not gonna count my chickens before they hatch, but I'll give you guys an update at the end of the video. Get that little smudge off you there. Can't have you guys looking through a dirty lens. All right, time to move six huge wheels and tires. Oh. Two. Woo. Man, oh man. Number three. Never underestimate how heavy these wheels are, guys. I got some serious weight to them. Woo. All right, get my work at him for the day. All right, mission successful. All right, guys, so I'm gonna grab a few more things out of the garage here, and I'll see you over at the shop. So we have arrived. There's been a few small changes that I made here offline since the last time that you saw it, which was earlier in this video. So got things cleaned up a little bit here, move that really massive wreath. That thing's really heavy, by the way, into that room. That's gonna be like a parts closet, like storage location. There's not really the best lighting in here right now, so I make do. There's a good shot at the bathroom for you guys too. Pretty excited about that. Kind of be painful if that didn't exist. And then I threw some LED lights up here as well. I need to replace this old style lighting as well, which are down there, but I'll get around to it eventually. And I need to kind of tidy the wires up, but we needed a little bit of light. And then here's a good shot at how the dually fits in here. The biggest truck that I have in my arsenal fits really well. It's not the biggest shop in the world, as I had told you guys, but this is a way better situation than I currently had or previously had because, well, I didn't even have an environment where I could take a truck apart and let it sit for a little while in a somewhat dry climate. Now it is insulated in here. I have myself like a 40,000 BTU little heater so I can turn that on if need be. But as you guys can see, there's a decent amount of room around the truck for us to do work on it. And that brings us to, well, the new wheels and tires. Plus it's like moving day a little bit too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything unloaded here and then I'll walk you guys through what we're doing on here and uh, we're gonna do some test fitting. Should be fun, should be a fun day. I've been looking forward to this for a while. All right, so we got everything unloaded. As you guys can see, I've got the wheels and tires placed in their respective corners. Sorry I held off on you guys for this long. When we had the opportunity to move into this shop, it was kind of sporadic, so I just grabbed the camera and go, whereas usually I like to let you guys know what we're doing ahead of time, but I felt the need to bring you guys along for that journey. So anyway, here we go. I present you guys with the new wheel and tire setup for the dually. Now, I need to explain a little bit about what we did and why. I wanted to do something a little bit different. This is not gonna be your traditional dually wheel setup. Well, because... <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of the front wheels and the dually, the way that those things kind of like are concave. The reason that they do that is basically so that way the front wheels and the rear wheels can be interchangeable as spares. In this instance, there's gonna be no spare, but it's gonna look a hell of a lot better. So let's jump into the details because this is just a little bit different. Not honestly, through the research that I did, it was relatively detailed research. I never really saw anything specifically like this, especially with the tire setup that we're doing. So these are 22 inch wheels. We'll get to the back ones here in a minute. Up front, we've got a 22 by 12 fuel Maverick. These are 22 by 12, negative 44 offset. A pretty standard cast wheel amongst the automotive aftermarket. Now wrapping this wheel is a new tire by Fury, not a sponsored ad, but one that I wanted to try for a while. It's got a really awesome mud terrain tire pattern, which is super aggressive, I love. Now this is a 33 inch tire, but it's the 33 by 14 and a half, 22. So this tire is 14 and a half inches wide. Look at my tiny little hand on that tire. Or maybe I have a normal hand and it's just a really big tire. It could go either way. So that's what we're going to be running up front. Now we've got the leveling kit and I'm really not too sure how it's going to go. I think that we'll be able to make it work. Definitely going to have to space the front bumper forward just to get a little bit of added clearance. So now you guys know what we're going to run on the front. Let's get to the back. These are the Fuel Maverick Dually Series wheels. Guys, this wheel is something ridiculous, like negative 264 offset. Look at that offset, oh my goodness. And you can see that crazy concave look. It's really badass. Love the rear dually aftermarket wheels that are available. And the Fuel Mavericks have always been just a really simple wheel. That's why I ended up going this route. Now you can see tire-wise, they're still wrapped in the Fury off-road tire, but you might notice the width difference. Well, that's because this is an eight and a quarter inch wide wheel, 12 wide wheel. These are wrapped in 33, 12 and a half, 22 MT Country Hunter Fury tires. Now they're still 33 inches tall. Let me demonstrate. Wow, that is a big girl. Put that there, put that there. And they are the exact same height, which is good because you need that for four wheel drive. 
But this is a 14 and a half. This is a 12 and a half. This is an eight and a quarter wheel. That's a 12 wide wheel. The reason that I did this is because traditionally on dually setups, you see this nice tire bubble in the rear and then you have like a stretch looking tire in the front if you go the super single setup, like a 12 wide. I didn't like that because it seems off. So I went with the 14 and a half inch wide tire on a 12 inch wide wheel to give it that same bubble. So you'll notice that we have the tire bubble in the rear and the tire bubble in the front. And this dawned on me, I was like, oh my God, this is genius, but will it work? That's the one thing that uh, is kind of up in the air at the moment. So I think it's time to test. A little bit more. Safety first, kids. Nice. Nice. I love these hubcaps. Oh God, that is ugly. So for those of you guys that haven't seen a stock wheel under the hubcap of a dually, that's what it looks like. And you'll see that when we get to the back, that wheel could actually be used unanimously in the rear as well. That's why they look that way in the front, if anybody was ever wondering. Now, we also have this adapter hub to make that work because of the deep offset. So this is actually going to have to come off to make that wheel work. Grab this big thing. 14 and a half. Here goes nothing. Oh, wheels backwards. That doesn't really help. Should have gone way easier than it's ever gone in the past. Wow. Oh my burliness. Oh my God, yes, this is gonna look so sick. All right, we just gotta kind of see what it looks like on the ground real quick. Custom offsets is who I ended up ordering all this stuff through. So it's nice because they provided, those are the hubcaps, some more center cap hubcaps, knife. <clears throat> there we go. And provided us lug nuts as well. All right, here we go. Just kidding, gotta go up more. Oh wow. Yeah, what do you guys think? I know, it's gonna look really good. I just can't show you guys the finished product until she's done, I'm sorry. I hate to hold out on you guys, but we got a whole rear assembly to do right now. So uh, let's get to it. We gotta make it a, whoa. We gotta make it a little bit suspenseful. There's a back look for you guys, ooh boy. Things are getting spicy on the Daddy Max right now. God damn, calm down, sir. I'm gonna jack up the back end here. We'll uh, speed this process up just a little bit. Pull these stock wheels, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Pull those wheels off and then I'll catch up with you guys when we're mounting these things up. So for my non-believers, don't they look familiar? Kind of like the front wheels that we took off earlier. So there's your interchangeability. And then of course you have the spare right there. Now, this is Fuel's version, not so interchangeable. This is the outside wheel. This is the inside wheel. Totally know what I'm talking about, guys. See, surprise y'all every day. On a serious note, inside wheel, outside wheel. So we're gonna throw this one on, then that one on, and then uh, we'll see how much old stancy stance this thing's gonna have. I think it should have just a little bit more than it did. Let's just put it that way. Always awkward. Mm, no, that's not gonna work. There's dually number one, and then uh, this big offset right here, aka dually number two. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh yes. Oh yes. Lugs aren't on yet, but oh my God, yes. I'm just kind of soaking this in right now. Oh my God, I cannot wait to get this thing all set. All right, can't wait any longer. Let's throw some lugs on. Lugs, lugs, lugs. I am loving this shop already. Because let's just say I didn't finish doing this right now, be the end of the world. My previous cases, I was always on a deadline because either I was in a driveway or somebody else's shop. Oh my Atlanta, she is girthy. Jesus, the girth is real. Fuels stock. Fuels stock. So as much as I wanna show you guys the side angle, it's just not an appropriate time yet. I need to finish the job. Meaning that these cuties and I need to spend some time together. That one too. So we got a visitor on the vlog, Josh from LRA came on over. He's gonna help me out here for you guys. So we can give you a comprehensive look at the finished product. There is the passenger side. Josh is gonna hop on in. 
the driver's side. Oh my God, is it just so bodacious. Now, one thing I wanted to make note of is there are other tracks that we pulled in. It's not that tight, actually. We have like a decent amount of room. There's the other side, boom. And now this. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this thing. Oh, she fits too. Now the new track marks are just a little bit more offset from that of the stock. And that tire pattern is just oh so aggressive. Wow, and luckily guys, it fits. Cause how funny would it be if we put the new wheels and tires on and it didn't fit? All right guys, so you're gonna see kind of a somewhat finished product here, but we were gonna just drive it around just you know to see how everything worked out. Well, we don't really have much turning radius and uh, Josh is gonna demonstrate that for you real quick here. So on the back side, I think we're okay, but the front side, the bumper needs to be spaced forward. All right dude, right there. What's that, about a quarter? That's three quarters. Okay, that's not bad. So you guys can see, we are gonna make contact with the bumper, but that's why I wanna move this forward. I'm probably gonna bring it about an inch forward. And that's gonna probably completely reduce the need to actually cut it all. And on the back end, he still has a lot of turning radius to go, which is a great sign, uh, but he can't even really demonstrate that because on the other side, it's contacting the bumper. So we're gonna pull this thing back inside here, take the bumper off, and then I'll probably be able to show you guys a somewhat finished product. So we're gonna get to work on this real quick. We're gonna pull the bumper off and then I'll see you guys then. Oh, there's one, isn't there just? Yeah, there's one there, but I don't know. If... Oh yeah, there it is. Um, this is exactly why I didn't do the big turbo. My man! Right on Seems a little naked now. Yeah. All right, so it's gonna look a little weird driving because, well, obviously there's something missing to the naked eye, but it's gonna have to do for now because we really have no other choice, so it'll do. Well, now we're not gonna rub on the bumper. That's obvious. All right, that's, that's about touching right there. It seems like you turned a lot. Go a little bit slower and we'll see how far we can get. So keep going. Right about there is where it's gonna rub. That's one turn. I think we'll be able to make two. All right, let's do this again. All right, guys, so we are out cruising right now. We're going to a good spot where I can get some decent cinematic shots for you, because like, what would the vlog reveal be without some cinematic shots, let's be honest. And uh, I just had to share something with you guys real quick. It's the fact that this thing is impossible to keep in the lanes. <laughs> it's, it's really wide. Luckily, I got Josh as my spotter. It's like, all right, dude, we good on that side? Yep, good on that side. Good on this side. And no, I did not take the stickers off the tires. I just didn't feel like it. sounds they sing to you all right guys now before the cinematic shots i kind of lied a little bit i'm sorry there's auto saying hi to the vlog doing his thing we're gonna grab the 14 wides real quick and throw them into the truck because actually we got them sold which is great news finally all loaded and ready to go time for the reveal i'm This is the vlog that keeps on going. I would love to sit here and film some more cinematic shots of the, the new setup. It looks amazing, I love it. But we have an objective. The guy coming to pick those wheels and tires up drove all the way up from Nashville, Tennessee. So I figured might as well feature him on the vlog before he heads on back home. But I gotta know guys, drop a comment below. What do you think about the new wheels and tires on the dually? It's like 80% done, but you get the general taste. All right guys, we have arrived. And there is our lad right there who we are going to be selling the 14 wides to. They just made a 10 and a half hour drive all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. That is just unbelievable dedication to the cause. Go ahead and pull these things up here. We got the two dirty maxes next to each other. What's going on, man? Jack. What's going on, with Tyler? Nice to meet you, dude. All right, so there's just a few things floating around in the back here, so we're gonna have to finagle. As you can see, these wheels are rather large, so they take up some space, but I think that we'll be able to make it work. I mean, we have to make it work. You drove 10 hours, you can't not make it work at this point. All right, guys, so this is where I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tap that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel because we got a lot of awesome things going on here. And I will see you guys in the next upload. I'm alone. I'm a broken home. I gave you all the bricks that I own. And no, I'm letting go. I'm breaking these walls down. Breaking these walls down. If you want it, I can